लेट सोल्व दिस गेट कंप्यूटर साइंस ट्वेंटी थर्टीन क्वेश्चन रिलेशन आर हैज टोटल एट एट्रीब्यूट फील्ड ऑफ आर कंटेन ओनली द एटोमिक वैल्यूज फील्ड्स ऑफ आर दे कंटेन ओनली द एटोमिक वैल्यूज दिस दिस इज एक्चुअली बाई डिफॉल्ट इन द रिलेशनल मॉडल इन द रिलेशनल मॉडल द एट्रीब्यूट दे ओनली हैव एटोमिक वैल्यूज दैट वी ऑलरेडी नो ओके दिस इज द सेट ऑफ फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसीज दैट आर गिवन टू यू इज द सेट ऑफ फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसीज एफ डीज ओके दीज आर द एफ डीज सो दैट एफ प्लस इज एक्जैक्टली द सेट ऑफ एफ डीज दैट होल्ड ऑन आर ओके दैट इज फाइन हाउ मेनी कैंडिडेट कीज डज द रिलेशन आर हैव सो टेल मी वॉट द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट लेट मी नो इफ सेट ऑफ फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी इज गिवन टू यू एंड द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग टू फाइंड हाउ मेनी कैंडिडेट कीज आर देयर वॉट विल बी द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट यू जस्ट टेल मी द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट विल बी यू विल फाइंड विच एट्रीब्यूट डज नॉट अपियर ऑन द आर एच एस येस और नो सी चेक आर एच एस सो टेल मी विच एट्रीब्यूट डज नॉट अपियर ऑन द आर एच एस यू कैन सी जी अपियर्स ऑन द आर एच एस बी सी अपियर ऑन द आर एच एस सी एफ एच ओके सी एफ एच दे अपियर ऑन द आर एच एस नेक्स्ट ए अपियर्स ऑन द आर एच एस ई जी दे अपियर ऑन द आर एच एस so who does not appear on the rhs you can see d does not appear on the rhs okay can you notice that here d this attribute d this is not on rhs of any fd okay so what it means who can derive d if d is not on rhs of any fd then what it means it means every candidate key must have d every candidate key contains d yes or no every candidate key must contain d because only d can derive d yes or no see see no one else can derive d only d can derive d only this attribute d can determine or i can say derive d okay only d can derive d so that is there is an every candidate key must contain d because d does not appear on the rhs of any fd okay so one thing is clear that d must be part of every fd yes or no that thing is clear okay so let me write all the fds here the set of fds so these are the fds now let's solve it now you can easily see d must be part of every candidate key so that is the first thing we have seen that d must be part of every candidate key must be part of every candidate key now tell me is d enough is d enough so first you check is d enough okay you must check what is d closer is d enough so d can only determine d so d is not enough okay so what is your next step d must be part of every candidate key so your next step will be with d you add one more attribute yes or no is this clear yes or no your next step that will be with d you add one more attribute okay so d plus one more attribute one more attribute you check these cases okay these cases we need to check check them okay check these cases check these check these cases right yes or no with d you add one more attribute and then you check so let me add a okay i will go step by step always go step by step let's check what is ad closer tell me what is ad closer ad can determine ad a can determine bc right okay a can determine bc a can determine bc b can determine cfh b can determine cfh okay remember this b this can determine cfh next ch ch can determine g yes or no ch can determine g okay so i got g also next what f can determine eg f can determine eg so i got e also did i get everything did i get a b c d e f g h a b c d e f g h yes i got everything yes or no that is your entire relation r so i can say that ad that is candidate key that is a candidate key is this clear i got ad okay what about the next i i should check remember i should check d plus one more attribute okay so ad i have done what about bd let's check bd plus okay so bd plus remember ad is already candidate key so if bd is candidate key then bd must determine ad do you agree with me 
yes or no see ad is already candidate key now if bd is candidate key then bd must determine ad okay so you can see bd can determine bd that we already know next b can determine cfh b remember this b this can determine cfh what else you can see that f can determine eg f can determine eg and remember e can determine a e can determine a now ad ad that is enough to that is enough for everything actually we got everything already we got everything okay we also got ad okay actually we got the entire relation r so i can say that bd is also candidate key this is also a candidate key okay cfh that that is cfh okay yes okay anyway so this is correct so bd is also candidate key now what you will check now the third thing what you will check with d you are checking one more attribute combination so ad we have checked bd we have checked now we will check cd what is cd plus cd can determine cd what else cd can determine cd that's it okay so cd is not a candidate key yes or no this is not candidate key then the fourth you will check with d one more attribute now you check de what is d plus see d can determine d e can determine a e can determine a now can i stop ad is already candidate key you know ad is already candidate key yes or no it it will determine r ad is already candidate key so d is also candidate key okay so d that is also candidate key very simple okay what else you will check you will check fd okay so i can call it ed okay ed so we have checked ed next now we will check fd yes or no so now check fd next let's check fd what is fd plus fd plus will be fd f can determine eg f can determine eg now can i stop this is already a candidate key yes or no this will determine the entire r so that is the reason fd this is also another candidate key okay yes or no now what else is remaining what i will check now i will check fd is okay a a b c d e f g yes or no now i will check gd what is gd closer that will be gd nothing else okay so gd is not a candidate key is this clear i can say that gd that is not a candidate key okay then i will check hd hd what is hd hd will be hd anything else nothing else yes or no so hd is also not a candidate key okay so two combinations are done yes or no is this clear two to attribute combinations are done with d i was adding two to attribute combination so those are done so remember remember this case d plus one more attribute okay check check these cases these cases are done we have done these cases so in this three i can say in this three number point we got these fds uh, we we got these candidate keys we got ad we got bd we got ed we got fd okay now but can i stop now okay can i stop now can i say that this is the answer no i cannot stop i have to check d plus now i have to check check d plus two more attributes two more attributes okay check d plus two more attributes but tell me in these two more attributes can i take a b e f okay they cannot be a b e f yes or no they cannot be a b e f do you agree with me they cannot be a b e f okay so what are the cases i have to check i have to check two attributes i need to i need to take but i cannot take a b e f so what i can take for example i can take c g yes or no a b uh, so you already know a b c d a b c i can take c then a b c d e f when i can take this uh, i can take this i have to check these okay what else i have to check 
ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच बीस थ्री आई हैव टू चेक दैट्स इट ओके चेक देम आई हैव टू चेक देम सो लेट मी चेक ओके वॉट अबाउट डी सी जी लेट चेक डी सी जी प्लस डी सी जी क्लोजर वॉट इज दैट डी सी जी क्लोजर दैट विल बी डी सी जी ओके कैन आई डिराइव समथिंग एल्स डी सी जी दैट्स इट नथिंग एल्स आई कैन डिराइव देन आई हैव टू चेक डी सी एच दैट विल बी डी सी एच कैन आई डिराइव समथिंग एल्स सी सी एच कैन डिराइव जी सी एच कैन डिराइव जी ओके सो आई गोट जी ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम हियर वॉट आई कैन डिराइव डी सी एच जी नथिंग एल्स ओके देन डी जी एच ओके दैट विल बी डी जी एच ओके डी जी एच देन फ्रॉम हियर डी जी एच कैन आई डिराइव समथिंग एल्स डी जी एच नथिंग एल्स दैट्स इट सो दीज आर नॉट कैंडिडेट कीज ओके इज दिस क्लियर दिस डी सी जी ओके वॉट वी गॉट वी गॉट डी सी जी डी सी एच एंड डी जी एच दीज आर नॉट कैंडिडेट कीज इज दिस क्लियर प्लीज टेल मी ओके सो कैन आई स्टॉप नाउ नाउ कैन आई स्टॉप प्लीज टेल मी कैन आई स्टॉप नाउ नो आई हैव टू चेक डी प्लस थ्री मोर एट्रीब्यूट ओके यू हैव टू चेक डी प्लस थ्री मोर एट्रीब्यूट इज दिस क्लियर नाउ यू नीड टू चेक डी प्लस थ्री मोर एट्रीब्यूट यू कैन नॉट स्टॉप हियर ओके यू मस्ट मेक श्योर नाउ यू चेक डी प्लस थ्री मोर एट्रीब्यूट ओके here but remember these three more attributes these what they cannot be they cannot be a b e f okay so there is only one thing to check basically we have to only check d c g h only this is what we have to check that's it nothing else okay only this is what we have to check check this and you can easily see if you check this d c g h only this is what we have to check this will give you d c g h okay this will give you dcgh and ch can give you g but that we already have okay that's it nothing else you can get so i can say this is a not a candidate key this is not a candidate key that's it so now you can stop now there is nothing to check okay because everything we have checked okay so that's it so finally now i can say that your answer will be what only four candidate keys we got okay number of candidate keys that is four so what are the candidate keys the candidate keys that we got so the answer is four and the candidate keys are ad bd ed fd these are the candidate keys so for this question the answer is option b is this clear please tell me is this crystal clear uh -huh.